Oh, hey there. Um, today I have a review on this one-of-a-kind acoustic guitar. And um, I, I don't really know where to start with this. Well, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Bob Smigger Wiggets, and I'm here today to present to you the one and only godly acoustic guitar sent straight from heaven. Literally. It has perfect tone. Always. We, um, we, we did a little bit of research, and um, you can't do it yourself because this is only one of this, and I had to use a supercomputer to do it. But I which went, was also the only one of its kind, which is yes. now destroyed, right? Yes, I destroyed it myself right after. Um, and, well, I guess we can start with the history of the thing. Back in 1802, Jimi Hendrix, The Edge, from U2, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, and Eric Johnson and Steve Ray Vaughan all sat down together with God at the head of the table, and they all and they all sat down and had a meeting on what they should do. God called a meeting. They didn't know what to, what to expect. They got a text. They opened it. Said God called, so they went and went to heaven, and they all sat down. And they said, we need to make the, the perfect guitar, preferably acoustic. And well, why, why is that? Well, if I could tell you, if I tell you, I'd have to kill you. Wait, you'd have to kill me or would I just die? You would just die. God would kill you. Do, do you know this? No. Anyways, so... Anyways, um, so they all, and Eric Johnson's like, you know, man, we gotta have this, you gotta have this bridge pickup for those really. Tones. And Steve Ray Vaughan's, no, you gotta have that. Um, Paul McCartney, no, he's, he's like, no, you gotta have that. And, uh, Jimi Hendrix is like, no, 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 you gotta have that. In, in that, that really good. And, um, John Lennon, um, was like, whoa. And... Um, God was like, no, it's going to be an acoustic. And so they set off on their own separate mission. They found the perfect tree. After a hundred million years of searching, they have found a perfect, not a Chinese ancient oak, not a Japanese ancient oak, not a Mexican ancient oak, but American ancient oak. And they found it. They sliced it up so thin, like a tortilla. But not Mexican, an American tortilla. And they placed it on this archwork. You can't see, because it's underneath this. It was woven by an angel. And it has perfect tone. Always. And this bridge was made out of the bone. The rib bone from Adam himself. Would that be the right or the left? Because I am aware that one of them was already used. Um, the one that was already used, it was ripped out of Eve when, you know, oh, she so, ate that so. apple. They got, I'm putting that on a guitar. So he put uh, it on this um, guitar here, and it has that very sinful tone. And um, it'll never come up because it's woven in to the archwork that was also woven by an angel. Um, the sound hall is down to the millionth of an inch, is it? Trillionth. Trillionth of an inch. Um, and when you strike a string, any string you want, any chord, any note, any solo, whatever kind of effect you want on it, you will immediately, it'll resonate so perfectly with the Earth's magnetic field, it will strike a earthquake and a tsunami in Japan. 
and the whole thing with the nuclear power and the meltdown. It's just, yeah, yeah. You, My bad. Shh, shh. Um, the neck is actually also built straight in to this top, the thin top with the woven uh, archwork. And the neck is made out of a thigh bone from a magical unicorn giraffe. And it has this big pink horn. It's really adorable. But anyways, Wait. it was out of the thigh bone. And they cut it down it? to size to fit God's hand. This is God's handprint you're feeling right now. Actually, technically, this is a video, so you're not feeling anything. Except for the feeling of um, desire for this guitar. And self-pity that you'll never be able to touch it. And the fretboard itself is so thin. Thinner, probably about a quarter of the size of a quarter of the size of a human hair. It's that thin. It is so thin that if you touch it, it'll rub off. But they have plated it with titanium diamond nitrate. And that'll protect it from anything. The frets are made out of spider steel that came out of Spider-Man's wrist. He melted it down, made frets, perfect frets for perfect tone. Always. These, da these dots are not Mother of Pearl. They're Mother of Heaven. They came straight from an angel. The strings are made from iron directly from an asteroid hitting Earth. But it couldn't have, they couldn't have picked it up, the asteroid, and harvested it. No, nope. they actually had to catch it. With a baseball ball. Is it true that it has to be still moving to be put into string formation? Or else it won't Very work. Very true. Tuners are quadruply Google moogled and trip dipped in uh, diamond and platinum. Is, is it true that it is liquid diamond? Which is physically impossible to obtain, but yes. is obtainable. Absolutely. The back of the guitar is made out of not fiberglass, but fiber heaven. No, not Fi even fiber heaven. It's made out of fiber one. And it comes with a Fishman power bridge. <laughs> it's so stunning, it makes you cry. It makes you cry. It makes you cry when you think about it. The Fishman Power Bridge. The Fishman Power Bridge. <sighs> Thank you for coming today. I hope you enjoy the guitar. Oh, goodbye.